What's up? What's up, guys? Woo! What's up, you lot? <laughs> what is going on, man? Guys. Can you see my breath? Okay. Today we're cracking back into the top 100 videos. It's number 71. Okay, but there is one thing I need to show you guys first. Just one. Okay, I'm in Queenstown at the moment, as you guys know. I actually just spent the day on the Milford Sound yesterday. Drove back to Queenstown, up to my spot, and woke up. Woke up to this. <laughs> Look! I've got my own winter wonderland in summer here in Queenstown. It's pretty fucking epic, man. It, it, it is epic. It is absolutely epic. I was like, what? what is that little tap, tap, tap on my window? And lo and behold, it wasn't the rain. Although it was the rain last night. It's, um, it's actually snow. Which... Which is fucking unbelievable. Unbelievable. Guys. Now, what I've got over there is a pot of water boiling for my coffee. I'm gonna get get set up here. What I'm gonna do. Woo! This reminds me of being in Buffalo, playing, playing football. <laughs> There's guys out there that will play football on this. You're fucking insane. Where's my hand warmer? That's all I want to say. But first, okay. First, I've got to get my coffee. All right, we've got to take this in. And I'm going to see you back here for number 71 on the list. I don't know who it is. I know who the last guy was. It was Josh Jacobs. One of my favorites. One of your favorites, it seems. So guys, sit back, relax, and I'll, uh, I'll see you shortly. Woo! Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. We're back. Back with the coffee, it's the main thing, and uh, I'll give you a taste test. Oh, everything seems so much hotter right now because everything's so cold. <laughs> but it tastes good. Okay. Alright. I'm going to enjoy this one. This is number 71 on the list. I actually don't know who it is. I'm going to check it. check it right now. 71 NFL top 100. Jarrell Casey, defensive end for the Broncos. Right, I'm going to turn my hotspot on. Now we're going to turn the laptop on and hope for the best because last time the battery was piss poor. Excuse my French. Not up to standard, guys. Not up to standard one fucking bit. But that's okay. We're back. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're actually back. We're doing some more of these. So, let's go. 77%. No. No. Why? We're going to have to deal with it. Right. Here we go. No time to lose. Um, okay. YouTube.com. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Number 71. Let's get into it. Oh, don't lose that. That would have been a classic, a classic moment. A classic Jacob moment to, to actually drop my laptop um, and break it. Thank God that didn't happen. Thank fucking God. Okay. Because <laughs> I would have, I would have, <clears throat> in fact, you, you, would, you would not have seen what I did. Because I would have been so fucked off. All right, guys. Defensive lineman in the NFL, and uh, anybody who doesn't think that they just gotta turn the film on and watch it because he's a great player. I uh, think he's one of the best. Oh, one of the one of, one of the best defensive linemen. Okay, Anaheim Hine. Did you guys expect me to know his name? Is that his name? Anaheim Hine. Anaheim Hine. I believe he's a running back. I believe he's like five foot eight, <clears throat> maybe even five foot seven. Definitely on the smaller scale. But, I was actually presented, buzzily enough, with an opportunity 
to sell this guy as a sponsored athlete for Major Key Physiques, probably about a year and a half ago. I worked with an agency, they had him on offer. I was probably going to have to pay him in the league of around about $20,000, but it may have put MKP on the right person at the right time. One of my regrets, but I'm not living with regrets anymore, so I'm over it. Let's go. Defensive lineman in the NFL, and uh, anybody who doesn't think that, they just got to turn the film on and watch it, because he's a great player. Defensive tackle. Australian. Tackle Jarrell Casey. Defensive tackle Jarrell Casey didn't post big numbers in 2019. But those who face him know he can't be overlooked. Do not give me a salute and look me straight in the eyes, mate. That is just scary. That <laughs> Can you imagine this guy coming out of that smoke into the field? If he is as big as what I believe he is, or what he looks, he's got to be six foot six, 140 kilograms. And he's got a smile on his face while he's doing it. Just because you don't have the stats don't mean you ain't making an impact on the game. That's take, scary. Three blocks, three blocks, whatever the case may be, you know, that's just as impactful. If you watch film, uh, any, and no football, any, um, you know that he the truth. Looks like Casey knocked it out. That was a decent effort. Get the takeaway. We actually saw <clears throat> what was probably the equivalent of a, a bang off the right by um by Casey there. In fact, he's just about to do it right at this moment to get past his opposite man. Um, you know that he well to try. If you watch, film, watch this. Uh, any and no football, any bang! <laughs> Didn't fool anyone, but definitely gave him the explosiveness and the power to get around some people. Um, you know that he the truth. Looks like Casey knocked it out, and the Titans get the takeaway. Every week, man, when we play those guys, you got a game plan for them. Coach is always telling them, man, make sure you know what 99 is. He was really tough. Uh, he had a really great game against us, I think, both times. And uh, I watched him split double team and tackle me. We have a great line. We try to tame them, but you know, I reckon I might have seen that. That matchup. In fact, I need to put two and two together. Um, uh, so we've got <coughs> Anaheim Hines, 24, 5 foot 9, against. Against Jarrell Casey at 6 foot 1, but 138 kilograms. Okay, he looked. Yeah, he looked huge. In fact, when he came out, out of that smoke and was doing his little twirl, right, I thought, okay, if this guy's 6'1", yes, his stature, his stature's going to be fucking impressive, but it's not going to be a 6'6 six six guy coming out doing that. And lo and behold, he wasn't. Um, Jarrell Casey, you know, we can't, we can't win them all. <laughs> but he is 138 kilograms. He went in the 2011 draft. He's been in the league for, for many years. In fact, he's at the Broncos now, believe it or not. He went with the 77th pick in the third round of the 2011 draft. Five Pro Bowls from 2015 to 2019. First team All Pac 10 in 2010. Second team All Pro in 2013. And the five Pro Bowls from 2015 to 2019. He's got a total tackle count as of week 17, 2019 last year, of 493. 51 total sacks, 8 forced fumbles, 5 fumble recoveries. Do we have anything about his current season? On March 19, 2020, he was traded to the Broncos in exchange for a 7th round selection in the 2020 draft. Recalling the trade, Casey said the Titans discarded him like trash. He was placed on injured reserve on September 28, 2020 with a torn bicep. He was moved to the reserve COVID-19 list by the team on November 7 and moved back to injured reserve on November 20. Okay, so that's why he hasn't played. That sucks. He would feel like he's just thrown out like a piece of trash. All right, guys, let's go and give him the respect he deserves. At 6-1, he will be moving in and out, maybe a, a little bit more efficiently than those higher in stature. Shoot the gap, Leah. You know it's not really 
there so much about size. I wonder what his 40 yard dash is. In fact, how did I not look at that? 506. Eight foot five on the broad jump. I'm not gonna say that's the worst I've ever seen, but it's in the worst five. Yeah, I think okay as you guys that or not, you know, your total typical D tackle with your 330 pounds, six four and up. You know, those guys are able to disrupt back there in the backfield consistently just with their sheer speed and ability to be able to get past guards. Mm. The best ball you got! You don't leave nothing out there! You better leave a still training! Last season, Casey played a pivotal role in the Titans' surprise playoff run. Holy fuck. You don't got a chance. You don't got a chance, buddy. First. Oh, did you just say <laughs> well, well, I don't know about him, but I'll tell you what, at this very moment, Tom Brady didn't have a chance. He got sla he got slammed. He got literally body slammed. Between two defensive linemen. Nice playoff run. Yeah, good luck, Brady. First, he took down the Patriots. Then the league MVP. So he's got a nice tackle on him. Round the legs, wrap him up. We talked about a spin. Watch Jarrell Casey come in here and then spin back to the inside. Let's go. Jackson under pressure. Around about that five second 40 yard dash speed around that pocket area is going to serve him well. But he hasn't played yet. Okay, now, what I want to leave you guys on is a quick thought that went through my mind after realizing that, yes, he is only six foot one. And, and this is a thought that comes through my head when I see any of these offensive linemen, defensive linemen, any of these massive guys, I always think, right, well, they definitely go well as a forward in the game of rugby. But when you've got extreme height, like six five, six six, the only position really that a player that height is going to fit in properly into a game of, of um, rugby Unless they're just a freak, which most of these guys are, but in the game of rugby we don't have too many freak, freak athletes, which basically means freak, freakish size, freakish speed, freakish power, you know, probably freakish looks as well, you know what I mean? Just, just a genetic freak. We don't have too many of those, okay. But this guy would be a perfect front rower in a scrum in the game of rugby. A meter 85, six foot one, he's not gonna to be too high, he's gonna have that low center of gravity which is exactly, exactly what they need. It's not gonna be just him though, he's gonna be in that front row with two others. So there's gonna be three Jarrell Casey's going up against three others and um, yeah, I, I hate to think, uh, I hate to think what a front row weighing over 400 kgs in total would actually do to an opposite team. I, do not, I don't think there's a front row in the world that weighs that much. I don't. But we'll find out one of these days. Not today though. In the next one guys, we're looking at Fred Warner, number 70 on the list. He's a linebacker of the 49ers. This battery's gonna go out before I know it, so I've gotta get onto it. Thanks for watching guys. We're sitting in my own winter wonderland. Don't forget, it is snowing outside, but I'm loving it. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.